So please remember to listen to your body, do what feels good to you. If you need to replace one exercise for another, of course you may do that. The main thing is that you're here and that you're present and that you're moving and that you're breathing. Um, so please enjoy the practice and do what feels good for you. Okay, so take a moment to um, just tune into your breath now. I'm gonna move back into my seat. And I invite you just to bring awareness to your breath and notice how deeply you are breathing in this moment, becoming aware of any tension or tightness that you might discover in your body or in your mind today. And you don't need to do anything to change the breath just yet, but just simply notice how long you can breathe in and how long you can breathe out becoming aware if one way is longer or shorter than another. And letting go of everything that came before this moment so that you can be fully present here in this moment. And as you're breathing, if you have any goals or intentions for your practice today, just take a moment to acknowledge what your intention may be. Remembering to honor and listen to your body. And with a deep breath in, invite your intention to fill your body, your heart, your mind, your spirit. And with a deep breath out, letting anything go that does not serve your intention. And breathing in now through the nose as if you're blowing into a balloon. Allow your belly and your rib cage and your chest and your shoulders to expand in all directions. Breathing out through the nose, if you can, and squeeze that breath out like you're wringing out a sponge. And again, inhaling whenever it's time to breathe in and allow yourself to soften and expand. And breathing out, consciously, completely letting that breath go. And again, for just another minute, inhaling deeply. And exhaling completely. And with every exhalation, becoming aware of how you are engaging your core muscles. Whether or not you can actually feel that engagement, just bringing your awareness to the muscles of your core and to the area of the core will help to ignite and to awaken and to access the muscles of your core. So just another 15 seconds or so here, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely. Next time you breathe in, I invite you to tense and squeeze everything, squeezing your hands into a fist, lifting your shoulders into your ears, tightening all the muscles of your face. And breathing out through your nose, if you can, allow that breath to soften the body, let something go. And do that again at your own pace, inhaling, tensing, squeezing, exhaling, softening, letting go. maybe two or three more times, just like that. Inhale. Every time you hug muscle into bone, you're strengthening both muscle and bone. So it's very productive. And every time you exhale completely and let that tension go, you're bringing your body into a state of relaxation, of rest and digest. And then again, inhaling, tensing, squeezing, tightening, And exhaling, releasing, softening. Placing your hands now on top of your legs. On your next breath in, allow your eyes and nose to look upward. And as you exhale, allow your eyes and nose to look downward. And again, just following the movement of the breath, the rhythm of the breath, the inhale brings you Upward in the exhale brings you downward. 
Maybe on the next inhale, you can slide your elbows back behind you a little bit more. And as you exhale, maybe you can slide your fingertips toward your knees a little bit more. And just moving within your own available range of motion here, inhaling, looking upward, and exhaling, looking downward. And just three more times following your breath. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely, squeezing that breath out, connecting to your core. And one more time at your own pace. Inhale. And exhale. Return to a neutral position. And then just let your breath just follow a pattern that feels comfortable for you. And instead of looking up and looking down, see if you can lean a little bit forward and lean a little bit back. One may white might be a little easier or more accessible to you than another. So just explore this range of motion on your own. Hands can just rest on your legs. A little additional support here as you experiment with how far forward you can lean and how far backward you can lean. Good, just three more here. Good, one more. He wants me to let him out. He has his own cat door. He can let himself out. He's very independent if he chooses to be. All right, so come back to center. And let's just move to one side and roll out the shoulder. I'm circling in each direction. Maybe lifting and lowering, just moving in ways that make sense for you. If it's comfortable for you to place your fingers on your shoulder, you can make a little bigger circle here with your elbow. And then maybe go the opposite way. You can repeat the same sequence on the same side or shift over to the other side and circle that shoulder around. and circle the other way. You can lift and lower or squeeze, release. Dude, you have your own door. And then again, if it's an option for you, place your fingers on your shoulder, circle one way, and circle the other way. Good. All right. Moving on, let's take the elbows into the waist, turn your palms to face upward, open and close here, either one hand or both hands. Trying to keep the elbows into the body here, just to target the muscles of the shoulder. We we'll call these the shoulder cup muscles, these smaller muscles that hold our shoulders together. You can also turn the palms to face toward each other, opening and closing. If it's an option for you today, you can spread the fingers wide. Good, last one. Okay, now we're gonna to start to warm up a little bit more. So picking up the pace a bit and going for a bit of a run, you can ski, mm -hmm. you can walk, Okay, so any, anything within that realm. That's an option for you to add in the feet and the legs. You might add that in as well. And we're not trying to go to our highest intensity just yet. We're just getting the body moving, warming up a little bit more, increasing our heart rate, getting the blood flowing.
moving in your own way. Got about 10 more seconds. And we'll keep the same movement going, whether you're running or you're skiing or you're walking, but add in some punches. So punch, punch, punch to the front. And then come back to running, walking, skiing. And then punch, punch, punch to the front. And running or walking or skiing. And again, to the front. Run, walk, or ski. This time, instead of punching to the front, punch across the chest. And come back to running. And cross punch. And run. And cross punch. And run. Okay, so now we are gonna juggle a little bit. So palms facing up. It's like you're juggling two balls or bowling ball pins. Maybe you're juggling knives and fire. Use your imagination. And the point here is to be somewhat um, random in your movements. So try not to think ahead, but actually pretend like you're actually tossing these balls up in the air. They keep landing in different areas around you. You gotta be quick, catch them and toss them back up. Keeping it going, leaning and shifting, leaning forward or back and turning behind you, maybe above you. Good, five more seconds. Two and one, great. Now we're gonna climb a rope. So you've got a rope right here in front of you. We're gonna start to climb up that rope, reaching up as high as it's comfortable for you. You don't have to grip that rope unless that's an option for you. You can keep the hands open and just kind of drag the fingers down like you've got claw hands. And just pace yourself here, moving at any pace you desire. You can move slower than me. You can move faster than me. Again, for those of you who have the option, you can add on in any kind of way to increase or decrease your activity. We've got 15 more seconds to go. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Bring your arms down by your sides and just lean and reach to the ground on one side and then lean and reach to the other side and always stay on the same side or you can shift and change side to side. And we're not going for a big stretch here. We want to move more into a bit of a dynamic stretch for the muscles of the core, the waist, around the rib cage, low back. And so each of our exercises, we go for about a minute. So we've got 10 more seconds to go. Last one. All right, now we're gonna row a boat. So we can row the boat forward and back. We can also row the boat across the body, one arm only, or both arms at the same time. Okay, so once you find your method of rowing, maybe you wanna pick up the pace a little bit more. We'll be coming back to this quite a bit in our next phase of exercising or our next phase of um, cardio rather. About 30 seconds to go here. You can always mix it up. A little bit of rowing forward and back, a little bit of rowing across.
Good, almost there. 10 more seconds. Last one. All right, so that is it for our warm up. Maybe have a sip of water if that's an option for you. I forgot to remind you to get some when we started. Hopefully you've got a little bit close by. And then if you are using weights today, then go ahead and grab your weights. I'm using three pounds today. You can use five. I wouldn't use really anything more than five pounds for this particular workout today, but you can if you want to. So beginning with our elbows in palms facing up, we'll open and close the hands. So coming back to our rotator cuff exercise, this time with a little bit of weight. Doing your best just to keep the weights level and parallel to the ground. And then turn your palms to face in and continue the same movement. And with your breath, 10 more seconds to go. Last one. All right, keep your elbows bent, lift and lower the elbow to about shoulder height and then squeeze it back in. And you can alternate sides like I am. You can stay on one side only. And you can also do both sides at the same time. Okay, so find what works best for you here. If you'd like a little more challenge, you can straighten the arms out. That will increase the load. And we're halfway there. Got 20 more seconds to go. Each of our weightlifting exercises will be about a minute each. You can always pause and take a rest anytime you need to. So just honor and listen to your body. Last one. Okay, arms down. Let's lift and lower in front of the body now. This is for our anterior deltoids, front and top of the shoulder. You can alternate sides. You can lift and lower both arms. Of course, you have the option to do one side only or one side at a time. We're halfway there, 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. Last one. All right, now we have uh, biceps. So bicep curl here, arms down by your sides. Add in a bit of a rotation in the forearm. So we begin with the palms facing in, and as you lift, the palms turn to face up. Keeping the chest lifted, elbows in. And then we're halfway there. Again, we're not going for speed, so just find a nice steady tempo. Ten more seconds. Last one. Okay, now we have triceps. We have lots of options here. You can either hinge forward and stretch that hand back behind you, keeping the arm behind you. You can also lift above your head and bend and straighten the elbow here. 
You also have the option to push down into your seat, like you're picking yourself up out of your chair or back into the seat behind you, pressing your elbows into the seat behind you. So we're halfway there. And these are just a few options. You might have one that you know of that you enjoy. So whatever is best for your body today. Good, we've got 10 more seconds to go. Last one. Awesome. Okay, we get a quick rest, just like 20 seconds. So maybe have another sip of water. You can stretch if you need to stretch, release any tension that you might be discovering. Could and you mention ready? the last two tricep ones, alternates, alternatives you mentioned when you're done? Sorry. No. Yes. So when we come back to the triceps, mention those again. Yes. So this is the rotator cuff. We're just going to repeat the whole sequence. And yeah, with the triceps exercises, we have lots of options because one may not be an option. Another one might be the better option. So I'll go through those again for everyone when we get there. So we're halfway in now. You can turn the palms in, open and close the hands. Trying to control the momentum. So one thing about using weights is they'll sort of have their own momentum as you get going. And then you don't have to work necessarily as hard. So try to control that momentum so that you're in your muscles. Okay, next up we have lateral deltoids. So the elbow stays bent into the waist and then lift and lower the elbow to shoulder height. And I'm showing you alternate sides. You can do both arms at the same time if you choose to. And that's 30 seconds. We're halfway there. And give it a little squeeze as you pull the elbows in. Three more seconds. All right, so arms down by your sides, lift and lower one arm or both arms in front of the body. Sort of the top of the shoulder. Good. We're halfway through. Also know that you can increase or decrease the weight at any time. You can always do a round without weights, do a round with more weights. We've got 10 more seconds to go. Now we have biceps, so bend and straighten here. This time a hammer curl can be an option. So the palms will stay facing in towards each other as you lower and lift. This just targets a different area of the bicep muscle. Alternate sides, we'll do one side only or both at the same time. We're halfway there, 30 more seconds.
Last one. Okay, so for triceps, if you're not using weights for triceps, you can press down into your seat like you're pushing yourself up out of your chair. You can lean back into the back of your chair if you have a back to your seat and press your elbows into it. So I'm pressing and releasing, pressing and releasing. You can also take one hand above you if you're using weights, lift and lower, or hinge a little forward if that's available to you and kick that hand back behind you. So if you see me from the side, there's a bit of a hinge and that arm stays back. Okay, so we've got 15 more seconds to go. That cat who showed up, he doesn't live here, by the way. He just lets himself in and eats and then leaves. All right, we'll take a moment to rest. We've got about 20 seconds. As soon as I say that, we've only got about 15, so it goes by quick. Take a moment to stretch, to breathe, drink some water, shake out your hands, whatever feels good to you. And then return to your starting position for one more round. So elbows in, palms face up, open and close. All right, that is 30 seconds. You can turn the palms to face in. Check in with your breath, a little breath check. Make sure you're not holding the breath. Use your exhale to connect you to your core, to keep you grounded and present. Okay, now we have lateral deltoids, lift and lower, out to the side, no higher than your shoulder. Elbow can be bent, elbow can be straight. All right, we are halfway through. more seconds. All right, now we have anterior deltoids. Lift and lower in front of your body. Lifting only as high as your shoulder. It can be lower than the shoulder. It does not have to be as high as the shoulder. Just try not to go above the shoulder. All right, 30 seconds. And more seconds. Last one. Okay, now we have biceps. Maybe you would like to alternate between a traditional bicep curl and a hammer curl. Just an option. Otherwise, pick one, go with it, moving at your own pace. All right, we are halfway through. Good. 
10 more seconds. Last one. All right, so triceps, pressing yourself out of your seat, pushing back into your seat behind you, or lowering and lifting your weight above you or behind you. You've got that weight above your head, just be sure you've got a good grip. Wait, we are halfway there. Five more seconds. All right, that's it. We are done with these. You can set them off to the side. Maybe have a quick sip of water. We don't have much more time. Got about 10 seconds. All right, so this begins our high intensity interval portion. So we're gonna go for about 40 seconds and then have 20 seconds of rest. So starting with a run, we wanna increase the intensity. So you can go faster. You can also lean a little bit back or lean a little bit forward or shift forward and back to increase the movement and intensity. Okay, so all of these are options and you might find something that I haven't thought of. So whatever works for you, just keep on moving, increasing the intensity. Well, I got five more seconds to go. Two and one, good. All right, so during our 20 seconds of rest, you can pause, you can breathe, drink some water, stretch. If you wanna keep going, then just decrease your intensity, just move at a slower rate, okay? All right, so our next exercise is coming up in five seconds. This is reach up reach down. In between, just, just touch your leg. A little touch point here. It can be one arm or both arms. If it's an option to use two arms, then use two arms, reaching up and down, and begin to move faster. Now here, you're really moving within your own available range. So if you have any pain or tension in your shoulder or your neck reaching up, then don't reach up quite so high, okay? You can keep it right here at about shoulder height. Increase the intensity by speeding it up. And if there are any of these exercises that just aren't working for you today, then just pick something new as long as you are moving. All right, that is it. Take a break. Already, it goes quick. So we've got about 13 seconds to rest. You can just slow it down or come to complete rest. Okay, three seconds, we are gonna play the drums. So palms facing down and playing the drums. Playing all over, beside you, in front of you, maybe above you, maybe out in front of you. So you got drums everywhere, <laughs> trying to play all those drums. And here again, it's very random. more seconds. Two and one. Very good. All right. Quick break here. Check in with your breath. Five seconds. We are going to chop some wood. Okay. So you've got an ax in your hand, one hand or both hands chopping across the body. All right, get ready to switch sides.
five more seconds. Last one. Awesome. All right. Shake that out. Keep moving if you want to at a slower pace. Take a moment to enjoy the rest. And then get ready to catch some flies. So in five seconds, here we go. Catching, catching, reaching, reaching, catching all around you. And then increasing your speed and intensity. So maybe you're just surrounded by bubbles or ladybugs or butterflies. You're catching them all, drawing them in towards you. Scooping and pulling all within your range. And then maybe leaning out of range just a bit, staying safe, but challenging at the same time. Good, five more seconds. Keep it moving. And that is it. All right. Take a moment, take a breath. Okay, so next up, we've got some speed punching. So speed punching, hands are in front of the heart. It's like you're stirring them up. You're gonna stay right here, spinning around each other. Elbows stay lifted, going as fast as you can. And then to increase the intensity, if it's an option, you can lean back or you can lean forward or you can lean forward and back. Or just stay right here in the center. Okay, so I'm just giving you some options to play with. Five more seconds. All right, that is that. Take a moment, shake it out. And then get ready to climb the rope. We climbed a rope in the beginning of our warm ups. So we've got a rope right here in front of the heart. Three, two, one. Here we go. Just picking up the speed, picking up the pace as much as you can. And again, you can add in a lean back or a lean forward. You're wearing glasses, try not to punch your glasses off your face. I have done that before. <laughs> Got about 10 more seconds. In three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right. I'm doing great. Check in. Make sure you're breathing nice and steady. All right, so for our next exercise, we have a crisscross pull. You can come into your ready position, reach forward and crisscross, and then pull the elbows back. So it's crisscross pull, crisscross pull. up the pace as you get into the movement. We've got 10 more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, take a moment, shake it out. Stretch out any tension, breathe into tension, let it go. Getting your fists ready for this next one. I have a little series of punches. Punching up and punching forward or out. So up and out, up and out. On that up punch, you don't need to fully extend that elbow. So that elbow stays bent as you punch upward. You can always do one side only. Ten more seconds. Two, 
three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, check in. From time to time, have a sip of water as needed. Got 10 more seconds. Get your palms ready. It's time to play those drums. Here we go. All around you, in front of you, beside you, behind you, above you, in front of you, all over, keeping it moving. Fifteen more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Good. All right. Time flies when you're having fun. Got ten more seconds to go. And then come back to our reach up and down. So here we go. Reach up and down, up and down. Doing great. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right. All right, we have about five more seconds to go. And then we are going to row that boat. Here we go. Rowing across the body or in front of the body. One arm or both arms. Picking up the pace. You can always go faster than me. Good. You got 10 more seconds. Increase the intensity if you can. Going a little bit faster. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, checking in. And then preparing for some speed punching, getting into our ready position. Elbows high, fists in front of the heart, and here we go. Again, leaning, hinging, if that is an option for you. Good, 10 more seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. Shake it off. A sip of water if you want to. Okay. And then we're going to come back to our um, chopping wood exercise. So getting our axe ready. And here we go. Chopping across. Now you can continue on the same side, or you can follow me to the other side. Five more seconds. 
Last one. Awesome. Quick break. Okay, so our next exercise, you can prepare to catch some flies. We've got five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So maybe you're catching flies, maybe you're catching hundred dollar bills. Keeping it going, keeping it moving, keeping it random. So try not to think ahead, just move and follow. Your eyes can follow the hands. So wherever your hands go, your eyes go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right. Check in. If your breath is getting short and shallow, try to take a few slow breaths in. You can breathe all the way in and pause at the top of that breath. Breathe all the way out through your nose. Control that out breath. And let's row the boat. Here we go. Rowing any way you want to row. Using one arm or both arms. Finding your own method of rowing your boat. You can go faster than me. You can pick up the pace. That's an option to add in. Feet or the knees, you can do that as well. 10 more seconds. Picking up the pace if you can. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, quick rest here. And then our next exercise will be climbing the rope. So we're going to go back to climbing our rope in five seconds and get into your ready position. Three, two, one. Here we go. This is our last time to climb that rope. We are climbing all the way to the top this time. Good, keep it moving, 20 more seconds. Five, three, and one, good. All right, so for our final round, we're going to do all the things, the running and the drumming and the punching and all the things for a full minute, okay? So rather than 40 seconds, we'll go for a full 60 seconds. In three, two, one. So let's start with a run, 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 run. And then some punching, maybe some speed punching and maybe some drumming, catching some flies. Row the boat, climb the rope, or run, 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 chop some wood, chop the other way, speed punches, crisscross pull. Play the drums, catch some flies, climb the rope, row the boat, and three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Okay. Shake that off and take your hands to the tops of your legs. On your inhale, slide your elbows back. Let your eyes and heart look up. Take your deepest breath in. Then an exhale, slide your fingers towards your knees. Take your longest, most complete breath out. And do that again. Inhale, eyes and heart look up. And exhale, reverse. 
One more. Come back to center, arms down by your sides. Reach to the floor. Reach to the other side. If it's an option for you to take fingers to your shoulder, you can do that as well for a little deeper release. If it's an option for you to reach overhead, you can reach overhead. Only if that works for you. One more each side your way. Good. Bring it down. Let's roll the shoulders. And roll the other way. Take a moment to settle into stillness. And on your next breath in, give everything a tight squeeze, breathing in and in and in, in. Through the nose, if you can, breathe all the way out, release, and let go. And then maybe stretch out one arm, lift your hand in front of you, and just gently pull back on your fingers to give your wrist and hand a stretch. Other side. Maybe interlace your fingers, press your palms forward. And then bring your hands into a fist and just circle your hands, your wrists in each direction. And then just take a moment here with your hands resting on your legs, maybe with your palms facing upward. Close your eyes if that's an option or if that feels comfortable for you. And take a nice deep breath all the way in. And slow, deep breath all the way out. And taking a moment to acknowledge the effects of this practice on your body, your heart, your mind, and your spirit. And preparing to leave anything behind that you don't want to carry into the day with you. And take a nice deep breath all the way in. Let something go as you breathe out. And move back into your day with power, strength, grace, and ease. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really great to be with all of you. I look forward to seeing you next week.